everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today as you can see by the title we're doing a bit more of just an informal chit chat get ready with me style video while I do this look here on my visage. I was trying to achieve a more wearable kind of eye so nothing like cut creasy or detailed wings or anything like that. I just wanted to sit down and just do like a quite a smoky natural ish wearable ish look i think this is super wearable especially for me i do say at the end i would probably pair this look with a red lip and um, if i was going to a party or something but i think for during the day a nude lip is really nice with it we're going to be using a zoeva palette i think it's the first time i've used a zoeva palette on my channel but like i say i've been playing with them a lot in like my day to day and i really really like the quality of them and also some glitters and things like that so yeah if you want to just chat christmas with me and hitting 20k and probably hearing hamish spew in the background because the poor thing isn't well then please just keep on watching so i've got my base on which is why i look really crazy right now and my brows which i put about zero percent effort into i thought today we could play with a zoeva palette i have been playing with these kind of privately in terms of just like day to day when I'm going to work and stuff but I'm going to be featuring quite a few Zoeva products in my gift guides that are coming up so I wanted to use one on camera so this is the Spice of, Spice of, Spice of Life palette which looks like this let me show you a bit closer there she is there and I'm wanting to do something like wearable today so it's not going to be like a crazy look but there's probably going to be glitter involved some somehow. Do I look really washed out right now? I feel like I look so pale but yeah let's let's come in a bit. I'm going to grab the shade Shared Joy and I'm hoping I don't get too much fallout. I don't find I get a lot of fallout with these shades. With these shadows, sorry, not these shades. This is my first time using this palette. I'm just wanting to do something like fairly simple. I get asked all the time to do like wearable makeup looks and I'm not really sure why because I'm not really a wearable look kind of gal. I guess when I go to work sometimes I do like slightly more wearable looks but I am actually getting a little bit of fallout but hopefully I can just ping it off because my skin is so matte right now. Um, yeah I don't really kind of put myself out there as a wearable look kind of person but I do get asked so often to do wearable looks. Yeah I've got so many, well so many. I've got three gift guides coming up. Um, one is going to be a Beauty Bay gift guide which I'm going to film actually once I've filmed this video. And then I'm doing a gift guide with Just My Look. So they're two of my favourite um, makeup shops online. And then I'm doing like a general gift guide so just beauty things from all different sites. Um, and then a lot of the things that I'm putting in my gift guides I'm going to be giving away so either on YouTube or over on my Instagram so just make sure you're following me on those platforms like on both platforms I'm going to go in with Of The Favour which is a lighter brown and just blend out that first shade Um, and then I've got another hamper unboxing to do and yeah some quite fun Christmas content coming up and I want to get them out quite soon because if you're anything like me you've probably done a lot of your Christmas shopping already. I've actually, I feel very very proud of myself Currently today it's the 29th of November and I have every single Christmas present wrapped and under my tree for everyone except my dad. I need to get my dad something 
and I'm waiting on one thing for one of my nieces. I'm not going to say what it is because they actually do my little nieces, Sophie and Madison. Um, I've also got Katie Morganelli, but Sophie and Madison tend to watch my videos and I'm not going to say what, I've, what I'm waiting on, but something for your ponies, ladies. Well, they've got a little Welsh pony called Merry Legs that they share between the three of them. So I've got something coming from Merry Legs. And then, yeah, my dad is such a nightmare to buy for because he's like an older dude, you know. My dad is, well, he's born in 1945, so 70 something. So he's, I just feel like people of that age. And especially men, or my dad especially, like they have what they want or what they need, like they just buy it for themselves. So I do find buying presents for kind of older people a bit harder because I feel like what could they actually want that they haven't already bought themselves, you know? So yeah, I'm probably gonna end up getting my dad uh, Curry's gift voucher because he's wanting a camera and then I have every single person's present because the good thing is I do get sent especially right now because it's Christmas I'm being sent like a lot of like Christmas releases and sets and things so even for like um some friends and that I can just give them <laughs> some of the makeup that I've been sent <laughs> and they'll be happy. These shadows are blending so beautifully. I mean, I just feel so prepared this year. I'm gonna go in with Surprise of Life, which is a bit more warm tone than I want, but I want a, a deep shade. Maybe I need to dip into another palette just to grab a deeper brown. Or we could go warm toned. Why not? I can't really be accused of doing too many warm toned looks. So yeah, I'm just really wanting to congratulate myself really because it's not even December. And 99.8% of my presents are wrapped and under the tree. Oh no, I'm waiting on one more for Hamish that I bought him yesterday. And he will not watch this video to be honest he usually puts my video on mute so that i get a view <laughs> and then he leaves me a wee comment but i'm waiting on some arsenal stuff for hamish because that's his team unfortunately and then yeah i'm done so i feel like every year i have that am um, kind of you know like your last payday before Christmas and I'm like rushing around the shops and I usually end up spending so much money in John Lewis online because their delivery is so good and really reasonable and it's good quality presents um, but this year it just feels so much more organised and it feels good. I need to know do any of you do any any of you guys have all your Christmas shopping done? Tell me. I really love the way Steph Toms does her makeup. She used to be Coco Chic. Now she's Steph Toms. I actually just was watching her latest PR haul in the background here and she always has really beautiful eye makeup. And I do get really jealous of the girls that can do such beautiful looks that aren't like cut creases and blown out spotlight eyes and like 40 different colors. Like I feel like I'm just not that good at makeup if it's not like a little bit over the top. And I just wish I had more skills like doing really pretty wearable looks. But maybe that's not where my my niche is. I do like where this is going. I think we're achieving something. Just using this clean brush to get rid of any fallout. I'm gonna use that 
deep shade called Variety is Key. It's a uh, metallic. I'm going to wet my brush though because I don't want too much fallout. Does anyone else feel so much pressure when you're buying presents for your in-laws as well? I just feel like if they don't like it, it's just gonna like look really bad on you because you've not picked them some glorious gift and I know they'll like whatever I've chosen for them, but it's that kind of pressure in it. Whereas when it's your family, it's like, although I do like getting, um, Really nice thing for Hamish because he's such a good guy and he deserves lots and lots of nice presents because he works so hard. I usually make Hamish, um, for every kind of big occasion, I make him what, what we've called the little book of love, which is like a little scrapbook of like our previous year. But I feel like this last year, I've just not taken enough photos of him and us together doing stuff. I think it's the last year, I've obviously been working again, whereas I wasn't last year. And Hamish's business is just going like from strength to strength. Like he's got so much going on down at his gym. For any of you that don't know, Hamish has his own gym. He opened a gym in Edinburgh which is no mean feat and he's just had so much going on this year that we've not really done or like gone anywhere or like done many big things this year even for his 30th birthday we didn't do very much this is a metallic shade i am taking it into my crease just because it's the deepest shade in the palette and I just want to deepen it up a bit. I'm going to do uh, monthly favourites as well very soon. Oh, I'm getting that in my eye. Because I feel like this month I have discovered a few new products that I want to talk about. It's really gone in my eye. Hold on. I really lost my train of thought now. Yeah, in other news, obviously I hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is crazy. And I want to thank all of you that have taken the time to hit the subscribe button and that watch my videos and leave me comments and thumbs up videos. It's just the best feeling in the world to have hit 20,000, honestly. Like I hit 10,000 not that long ago and then it kind of doubled really quickly. Not really, well for, I think it was really quickly in a couple, like a few months it kind of doubled and then um, yeah, it's just nuts. Like the 20,000 people subscribed to me. I mean one of them's Hamish, one of them's my mother-in-law, one of them's my father-in-law, one of them's my brother who just pity followed me. Um, but yeah, I just want to say so many thank yous for subscribing. I know it's not about numbers, but it is about numbers, obviously. Um, you know, the more numbers you get, the more opportunities you get. And I'm getting opportunities because you guys are subscribing, like I'm doing it's probably up already, might not be, it might be coming next. I've got another um, sponsored video with Sleek coming, so I'm able to, you know, make a little bit of money out of YouTube now. I've probably been making money on YouTube for, I'd say six months through AdSense money. So that's just like the kind of YouTube money. Um, just from people watching adverts during my videos and or clicking on adverts, anything like that. Um, but not enough money, I mean, it wouldn't be enough money to even do like 
a big weekly grocery shop like it's not a lot of money but it's but it's still money and it's money that like you know I can go I can afford to buy the newest Huda Beauty palette to review or the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette and things like that so it is like money that I can then reinvest I call it I call it reinvesting in my channel but it doesn't feel like that when I'm buying makeup that I want to buy anyway <laughs> so yeah I've been making money that way now for about six months but that's just like pocket money is how I would kind of class it that's just like extra money on top of like obviously my work wages and um, because I've also been working full time and that's awesome but now I'm getting to the point where um, you know brands are emailing me and saying you know how much money would you charge to do a video on YouTube and I won't divulge what my fee is because I don't think that's necessary but it's not a whole heap of money like I couldn't quit my job or anything I wish um, but yeah it's just awesome that I can start doing that now where I can kind of do a few less hours at work and put a bit more money into my channel a bit more time into my channel you know and realistically I am hoping that in the next few months I can really kind of peel back my time at work and just do like um, two days a week at my actual job and then focus so much more time on my channel because if I like if I was making enough money on YouTube right now can never find a brush even though I've got four brush pots here yeah if I was making enough money on YouTube right now I could put out maybe four to five videos a week um, which would be awesome I'm gonna use just in conjunction with this palette I got the Stila glitter and glow set with the six in it sneak peek this is going in my beauty bay gift guide and i'm gonna use this shade kitten just at the front um, and then i'll go in with probably some glitter as well i just want to try this out i've never tried the um what are they called shimmer and glow so this is kitten shimmer and glow i'm gonna put it at the front and then i might go over it with a bit of glitter as well As such a pretty shade as Kitten, not like their most popular shade. Yeah, I just want to get to the point where I could work part time, say two days a week, um, and then really focus those other five days on my channel and my Instagram as well. I really love doing Instagram like I love doing tutorials for Instagram and things if you're not following me I'll link it on the screen you should um yeah I love I love doing my social media but I love doing my YouTube the most like it's just the most fun and it is like having a second job right now because um so I'm just taking that about halfway and just above my crease or if you can hear Hamish blowing his nose he's got a bit of a chest infection right now I'm hoping I don't get it get ready somewhere it's so hard because you want to just say everything you want to say but then you forget you're putting makeup on and then you spend like three hours doing your eyeshadow because you're just talking but yeah I do count myself as having like two jobs at the moment so one is four to five days a week and I'm doing either seven in the morning till half past three in the afternoon. And then I will come home and I will film a video or I will edit a video that I need to edit. Um, and then it's also 1 p.m. until half past nine or sometimes 2 p.m. till half past 10. And then before those shifts, I'll edit a video or film a video. And then on my days off from work, I will film videos and edit videos so I do feel like I kind of constantly work but 
half of it, half of my workload is at least stuff that I'm really, really passionate about and I love doing. Because, you know, people say, oh, I'll be tired, take a day off. And I'm like, but I want to film. Like, I want to put makeup on and just experiment and play, you know? Like, it's, it's fun. I'm going to take another shade from this set. This is Diamond Dust. I've wanted this shade for so long. And I'm going to put this on the front of my eyes as well and bring in some of that glitter. This is, like, the silver one. I think it's going to contrast quite nicely with this warm tones that are going on. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, the moral of the story is thank you for subscribing because you are currently helping me achieve the things that I want to achieve and it's ridiculous and amazing and I'm so thankful. Do you know what? I might be achieving a wearable look here. I don't know what you think but I think that's potentially what's happening. Oh this glitter is so beautiful. I truly truly love these Stila glitter and glows to the ends of of the earth to the end of time I love these um, and I recently found a really good dupe I'm trying to remember what it is because I was playing with it the other day and I was like this is such a good dupe of the Stila's yeah, it's these Technic ones, the Technic, the Glitz. I've got a few shades here, copper, gold, and black. These are like three or four pounds and they are literally the same formula as Stila. Um, so if you're wanting some of the Stilas for maybe a Christmas party or something, but they are so pricey, I know that, then have a look at the Technic, the Glitz, because they're so good. Um, I'm gonna use a bit of the shade unlike any other just to try and blend this glitter into the rest of my eyeshadow i think some people struggle with these because they just try and apply them straight from the wand which is fine for the inner corner i find because it's just quite precise but you see when it comes to like, the lid i always tend to um like take a small brush and wipe it off the wand and then pat it on. I always think that looks better. I'm just gonna throw on lashes and mascara and then we'll come back and do skin and keep chatting, but we do need to probably move this along somewhat. I'm actually gonna come back to lashes because my eyes are watering and if I try and put my lashes on, it's just gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna use my sleek um, contour kit in Fair, which I adore, just to try and add a bit more definition I feel like things are kind of um, on the up in terms of my channel like um, with my sleep the two videos that I've done for them um, and I got a pretty exciting email from another brand today a really well-known brand that want to do potentially want to do a sponsored video with me um, which is so exciting and you know, I do want you to know that I only accept sponsorships for products that I actually really, really love. Um, I would never do a sponsorship um, with a brand just because they're offering me money. Like, I swear to you, there has been so many emails um, that I just reply, oh, thank you so much for your message, but um, unfortunately, um, you know I, I can't do the video because if I don't like a product or actually use it in my real life I'm not going to do a video about it like actually even so yeah even there was a influencer that did a collaboration with a brand a well-known brand well-known influencer British and um, I got an email from the brand that they did the collaboration with and they said oh we really want to do um, a sponsored video 
on your channel on your youtube channel and your instagram um with these products um and they had a fee a nice fee a nice before christmas help buy presents fee um or just you know buy yourself some nice makeup fee and i said no because i don't particularly like the product i mean they're fine but they're not something that i could sit and be like you guys need hamish is not he's not well hold on i need to go check on hamish poor hamish i'm literally sitting here wittering on about makeup and he's spewing in the toilet he's not well I'm gonna use my Milani bronzer. I have attended to him. I've got him a glass of ice water and he says, there's nothing I can do for him right now. So if you keep hearing him coughing, then. I don't know if any of your husbands or boyfriends are the same, but when they're ill, they are ill. Like he doesn't ever just get a little cold. He gets Ebola. And <laughs> poor man. To know where you need to go and get beauty gifts if you're still searching for them is TK Maxx. I was in TK Maxx the other day, the one at Meadowbank in Edinburgh, which is the one that's closest to my flat, and they had like an additional like 50 tables set up with beauty products and gifts and gift sets. And I just thought it was incredible. Do you know what I want to try and use again today because I've not tried it since that first video is my my Mitchell Sub-Zero and see if I can make it work. He actually, um, a couple of days after my video went up, I woke up in the morning to a private message from Mitchell telling me how to use the palette correctly. Now, I think I've forgotten everything that you said, but I'm not gonna use the ABH brush because apparently a softer brush is better and doing it on wet skin is actually better than on dry skin, but I've already set my base. So I'm gonna try the shade Made It, this gold one, and see if I can make it work on me. I have a grey cast, I still have a grey cast with it. Just there. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna declutter it because it, it just doesn't work for me and it's a shame. I might just give it to my friend who was gonna buy it and then didn't buy it and then she can just have mine. I'm gonna use my Obsession Mega Honey. This is my like recent absolute babe of a favorite highlight. Look at it. I'm gonna use my Technic blush palette and just mix a couple of these shades for my blush. I actually really still love this blush palette. I wear it quite a lot day to day. On the note of Christmas though, does everyone else have their trees up already? Because I put mine up two days ago and Hamish said it was too early, but I was like, it's never too early for festive joy. My memory card just ran out of space, so I took the opportunity to put my lashes on. They're really cool. They are like half lashes, which I never wear. They're Camille number 16 by um, Huda Beauty. It's called the Easy Lash. And then I've used a lip liner, and I'm just gonna use my Primark um, favorite nude lipstick. Um, it's kinda, I was tempted to go red, but I did say this is gonna be a wearable look. Uh, Although if I wore this eye makeup to a party, I would definitely pair it with red lips. It, to me, like it's not over the top at all. If I wore this look during the day, I'd wear it in the lipstick. This is such a 90s look, isn't it? Got my hair extensions in today. Feeling pretty good. So this is the end of the video. This is of course, 
the makeup look. I really like how this eyes come out. I really, really like that Zoeva palette. I'm not 100% convinced on the lashes. I think they're really pretty, but no, I am quite convinced on them. But I just wonder if my natural lashes at the front are just too thin for how thick and long these are at the sides, but I do really like them. And that is the eye a bit closer. I hope you enjoyed this more kind of informal, just chatty, get ready with me. I don't really do get ready with me, with me, me, be, 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 be. I don't do, re I don't really do get ready with me that much, but I do quite enjoy filming them because they're just so easy. But yeah, this is the look, what do you think? So please tell me down below, do you have your Christmas tree up already? Do you have all your presents bought already? And if you don't have all your presents bought already, then that's a good thing because I have my gift guides coming up, like I said, and also my 20K slash Christmas, I'm just gonna merge it into 22, 20K and Christmas giveaways coming. You're gonna wanna follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm gonna announce it all. And, um, on here too to be eligible to win but yeah there's gonna be really cool things from palettes very high-end palettes to sets and fun stuff so yeah you want to follow me on both platforms and yeah thank you for watching really hope you enjoyed this video wish Hamish well he well and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>